everyone, it's Becky1000 and today I'm going to do some diamond painting. Um, I don't know why they call it diamond painting because you're not really painting. If you've never done this before, you can watch me and you might enjoy it and you might want to try it out yourself. Um, I bought these little keychains here from Timu. I got different assortments. If you haven't seen my video, I'll put it at the end of this video so you can see what I did. Um, <coughs> excuse me. The air conditioner is on. It's too hot to turn it off, so I'm bear with me. So I thought I'd try this, and this one is for my mom. So I was going to try to do this one for her. Um, <coughs> excuse me. I'm going to get me a drink, and we're going to come back here. I already got the diamonds in the cup here, as you can see, there they are. You switch them around in here after you get them out of the bag. I bought these from Timu, so I got them all individual now. I haven't poured them out. I will pour them in these as I go and opening them up because they're all in these little doodads here, so yeah. <clears throat> they give you two of these and two of the things I need some wax so where's my wax for this one hmm it could be in my little bag yeah I see down here anyway so I don't have a label saying for these so um what I've been doing is just cutting this part out the the number in that and the letter I just cut this part out and I stick it inside <coughs> as you can see so if I need it I know where they are I like to get a label label machine though for it. It'd have to be very tiny because you want to put them on the top and then you can take them off when they're all done or when you're finished with this one. So, yeah. And here's my big case here. So I got lots of room to, to do all my diamonds in. Okay, so I'm gonna get me a drink and I will come back and we will look at this. Stay tuned. Okay guys, trying to see if you guys are on. I wanted you to, you know, be positioned where you can see it. So, um, yeah. So I'm going to try to do this a little bit at a time here. Um, I'm right-handed and of course I've hurt my arm. They say it's due from the accident that I had. If you all knew that I had an accident. And it's just been three years now, so and I'm still dealing with stuff. So uh, I go see another doctor next week. I had an MRI done. I had nerve tests done, and um, so yeah, it's been real fun. So, anyways, if y'all have never done this before. I got these kits from Timu, and you get your little baggy thing of your little little tray here. You get your little pen, and they give you that, and you get a piece of wax, a little square wax here. Can you see it? There you are. And you get that. Now I have another tray too. They gave me two trays because these are keychains. As you can see, the key chains are, the chains are in there, and so, um, yeah, so what you do, you take a little bit of the wax, you put it on your end of your pencil here, as long as you can see, I don't know if you guys can see that, yeah, anyway, so, and then you use it up until you don't need it anymore for this. You pour your beads in here and you jiggle it. <clears throat> you want to take the the, t the shiny side up. You don't want the bottom piece. You want to take the, the pretty piece and you want to stick it to your wax. So, um, you got to find one that's that way. And that's why you jiggle it around. Then you put it on the end of your pen here. And you put it where your lettering is. Now I can't see the best so I got a magnifying glass that I got from Timu. And you just put it on the letter 
and we're doing W. That's what we're doing. Uh, can you see that? Yeah, see the W? So that's what I'm looking for. Um, here is all the W's. And then I'm going to just pick and put on here. So if my arm gets too tired, I'll have to stop. But I try to do as much as I can because I don't want it to become a frozen arm. It's make it very difficult for me to put up in the air. Uh, having trouble doing my hair. It's very hard. It's hard to do all kinds of stuff um, with my arm. So I'm doing it, but I'm in pain doing it. So, and so I try to rest it and do what I'm supposed to do. I've been in therapy and it didn't work. So We'll see what the doctor said. I got an MRI done. So I want to see what the MRI says. So that's what's going on here. So these are all W's. So I'm just going to do a few of these. And you want to make sure they're in the circle. In the circle because you'll you'll see the white a little white where the where the marking is if you don't and when you put them beside you want it to look as good as possible you know so I hope you all can kind of see that my arm might be in the way I hope oh, I may have to put you on the other side so you can see a little bit better maybe that's what I'll try I'm not very good with my left hand but um, Maybe I can move the camera over here and you guys can kind of see a little bit better. I'll show it to you. And what you doing? I guess you can see that. I don't know. Oops, there we are. You see the little black diamonds there? You can kind of see those. That's what you're accomplishing. So, <clears throat> yeah, the best you can. So, I'm going to try to swing it on the other side, maybe, I don't know if you can see or not, on that side or not. you got to be careful with these beads because they go everywhere. I hope they give you extra. I hope it's not like a jigsaw puzzle, you know, when you get the jigsaw puzzle and I'm putting some in here because when I shook it, some of them came out. Oh my God, they're all over. You know, when you get down to that last piece on that jigsaw puzzle and you've lost it, or they shorted you, that's that's not good. So I hope that they give you plenty of extra ones because I'm finding them all over the place. I have to be a little bit more careful with them. So, so easy for them to bounce out of here. So. So what you're going to do, you're going to you just jiggle it a little bit. And uh, you don't want the flat side because the flat side is what's got to go down because the butterfly is sticky. This is, this is sticky, see, sticky. So you want the flat side down and you find the W and you put it on the W, just like so. It's very easy. It's really not that hard to do. But if you have trouble seeing, you might need a magnifying glass. You might, yeah, you might need a few things because this is really tiny. <coughs> now, I'm going to show you something here. I'll bring you up so I can show it to you. Okay, there you are. <laughs> My battery's going to go. Ah, figures. So, um, yeah, so I bought another one, and this one, I'll open it up so you guys can see. This is for my mom, not for her to do, she can't do, she has cataracts in her eyes. Maybe when she gets them done, if the doctor ever approves her to go back to try to get eye surgery, but um, right now she can't because she had a pacemaker put in, and my mom is one of the rarest people. She is allergic to metal. <clears throat> so, when she got her ears pierced, 
they would get red and sore, they would swell up. She can never use cheap earrings. Then she would go to silver, real silver or real gold, and they would last for a while. Then they got to the point where she couldn't wear those. Then she had to have teeth pulled, and she had false teeth put in, and the metal on her teeth made her gums swell. So she couldn't even wear them. She can't wear them. So when she broke her back, they wanted to do surgery on her back, and they could not do her back. So because she's allergic to metal. But we don't know exactly what kind of metal she's allergic to. We just know she's allergic to it. So when she went into the hospital and she flatlined, they said she had to have a pacemaker. So I kept saying to them the whole time, I was like, she's allergic to metal. What are you guys going to do? She's allergic to metal. And nobody listens to you. Nobody hears you until it's like surgery day. And the first thing I said, what are you allergic to? She's allergic to metal. Oh my God, you should have seen this hospital up in the uproar. They had no clue what to do because they've never had anybody that was allergic to metal. <clears throat> so, doctor comes in. We can't do this because we don't know what is going to happen. And we wanted an allergy test. And because of Memorial Weekend, when she was there, the, the Memorial Weekend, she had to have a test, allergy test, and of course nobody's available. Everybody's on holiday. So he decided to put a loop recorder in her, which records your heart. But we're not using it for that. We're using it to see if she's allergic to it. Because whatever the loop recorder was, was made of, which is titanium, so is the pacemaker. It's made out of titanium. So that he figured, well, they can take the loop recorder out faster than they can a pacemaker. So they decided to do this. And over the weekend, everybody went for the holiday. And she's sitting there and bored and whatever. She can't, can't get out of bed at the hospital. They won't allow her to. So anyways, the weekend goes. He comes back. He looks at it, looks pretty good, it's healed, She's never, she never had a rash, she never had any problems with it or anything, never showed any um, signs of allergy or any kind of thing. It just looked really good. So he decided, okay, we're going to do the surgery. So they did it, I think a couple of days after. And at the same time, they're going to take the loop recorder out. So we're up there where they took that in. And then they're going to put the pacemaker in. Well, they did all that. The pacemaker is not healing. So he's all scared. He's, she's got two little tiny holes where, where the pacemaker is. It's like a stitch thing. And they glued her, glued her together. I'm wondering if she's allergic to the glue. That's what I'm wondering. My mom's just bodies can be difficult. So... She has two little holes. Here's her incision here on her on her chest there. And she's got a little hole here and a little hole over there. And they're not wanting to heal. So he put her on antibiotics because the problem is when you have an infection and an allergy, you can't tell the difference. So um, he put her on uh, antibiotics. We are on our third, third round of antibiotics. She ends her third round tonight. And she is now going to a special um, infectious disease doctor because her doctor is worried. So he's looking for a second opinion. I mean, this hospital was in an uproar. I've never seen anything like it. You know, all these doctors start coming. When you've got somebody different that they don't know what to do, you'll, you'll see tons of doctors. They come out of the woodwork. It's amazing. And they're all interested because they're learning. They're, they're trying to learn. They're trying to figure out what the heck we do. And so, so anyway, so they did this. And so we go this week to see this doctor to see what they say. And she's feeling better. She does feel better. The pacemaker's working. So that's...
that's a good sign. She says she don't feel itchy with it. It's not bothering her. She doesn't feel it. Now she is on blood thinners, so the pacemaker is bruising underneath a little bit. Um, I figure it's got to be from the blood thinners. So it, will it go away? I don't know. It may stay there. I, I, I don't know. But the pacemaker's working. So, you know, that's a good thing. And she's like, well, they ain't taking it back out. And like I told them, I said, what do we do if she's allergic to this? You know, and they're like, we don't know. We have no clue. So, anyways, she's going to go see this other doctor. <coughs> so, anyways, I got off my track here. I got her this from Timu. She wanted this picture. She liked it. So, I'm going to do... Oops, I'm losing everything here. And I can't move that arm real good. So, I'm going to do her picture for her. Probably, um... After I do this butterfly, not today. <laughs> no, I'll be lucky if I get this done today. So I got her this. This is the one she wanted. She picked it out. And um, it's a 30 by 40. Here is the number if you guys are interested in it. There's the number. And I bought it on Timu. It gives you the whole kit, it gives you these. That is your wax and your pen and your little cart. And then it gives you all your diamonds here. There's all your diamonds. And of course, these are all labeled. They all have numbers on them. These ones look like they have numbers. Now, these ones that I'm doing with these butterflies and the keychains, they have letters <coughs> and plus signs. So every one of them is a little bit different. So just just in case you ever want to try it um, yeah so this will be the one I I'm gonna work on now I got me a it's kind of like a board you know that slanted and it's for diamond painting I bought it it is on its way it will be in my haul when I do my haul um, and it should be here I'm hoping tomorrow um, if not tomorrow, it should be definitely here on Tuesday. So I will do my haul. I'm doing this haul live. So um, be on the lookout for me being on live. Um, I'm doing it with a, another person. We're going to go live. She lives in Kentucky and I live here in Florida. So we're going to do it together and see what we got at difference. Um, oops, I forgot to put this lovely doodad in here. Don't want to lose any of this. So, um, yeah, that will be fun. So, stay tuned for that one. You'll be up here sometime this week, I'm thinking, unless she's busy. I don't know, and I have doctor appointments, and uh, my mom's got doctor appointments, and Shaver's got an appointment tomorrow that he has to go to. So, yeah, I stay busy with appointments. So, anyways... That's the story of my mom. So she couldn't get her cataracts done. She was supposed to have her surgery done. So she can't see this stuff. So I told her I'd do it for her. So then she can see it. Anyways, enough talking. And we're going to get back to work here. I'm going to bring you down again so you guys can see for a little bit. And then I will turn you off. And yeah. And then I'll bring you back when I get a little bit done. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this, and um, yeah, sorry I talked too much. <laughs> I don't mean to, but that's what's going on with my mom, and it's no fun. See, I dropped it, and I'm using I'm using this box here. And I see, I have to turn it over because it's on the flat side accidentally. So. Making sure I got a W. It's not where I wanted it though. This wax I think needs a little bit more or something going on. Because the other one's picked up the last time I did it. Worked really well. So let me see if I can get this. So yeah, see if I get some more in there. Okay, 
because it's not really sticking the best like it should. This one's going to be a little bit harder, I think, because it is smaller than the other one that I did. Um, did I use it on my purse? It's, I put it as a keychain on my purse that hangs on the side for decoration. You don't always have to use these keychains for keychains. You could hang it in your mirror in the car if you wanted. Whatever you want to do with it. Give it away. You know. So. And you can move pretty fast with it. Um, you know. Once you get the hang of it. Oh, battery died. Of course. on the W. I like to do one color at a time. Um, some of them they alternate back and forth. Uh, I don't think that's too much. And you might lose your spot on one thing, especially if you have a lot of the same color, which this one does. It has a lot of the same color. So I'm trying to get the W's all done and then we'll continue. I'll be back. And so I got the W's all done. As you can see it. Isn't that pretty? Wow. I can't do that. Sorry. Do it that way. <coughs> Excuse me. No, it's really, really pretty. So now I think I have to look under here to see. Um, I have a plus sign. So I think I'm going to try to do the plus sign next. So let me find it and then we'll be back. So what I'm going to do is the plus, and I've used the plus on mine, so there's the plus right there. So we're going to open this up and put some in here. I'm going to bring you down lower so you can watch, and we're going to do the plus. Hey okay, guys, I hope you can see all this. I'm going to bring you a little bit closer so you guys can see maybe better. Okay, I want to take my little tray here. I've already put them in here. You don't need to watch me do that. I think. Oh, I do have one on my thing here. Can you see it? Uh, I think you can see it there. Anyways, there's one already on there. So a bunch of them fail when I was trying to pour it out. Be careful with these little things. These things are really tight. And they're really hard to open. So when you try to open them, everything wants to come out. Just like so. I think I lost my diamond. Yeah. So I have to pick another one because it only stays on there for so long and then you have to, you'll fall off. So I'm looking for the plus. And I'm moving it on to the plus. This will give it some more color. And you'll see it more together. Now I like doing the keychain ones. They're not really that hard to do. None of this is real hard. It's just time consuming. You do a little bit, get tired of it or whatever, and then go back the next day or wait a little bit whenever you got time. I mean, we've had a lot of rain. We were going to do a, a hike yesterday and do a lunch 
and we were going to take you guys with us and it rained all day long today um, it's freaking so hot that they have uh, a heat advisory so we stayed inside so I was like well I'm gonna work on my diamond stuff my mom wants her keychain so I haven't gone it yet and I thought oh, I'll do this today give me something to do I mean, I can always find something to do in this house. It's called cleaning. But I don't feel like cleaning today, so... And there we go. So I'm just trying to find all the pluses, and... We'll do this part. And it moves along pretty good. Sometimes you can move faster than others. I had... I try to keep them on the circle the best I can so it'll look decent when it's done. You kind of don't want that white showing from the X's or whatever it is. And you move them along too. I mean, you push them. I had a, some of them, that, a couple of them that flipped over, over on me and I had to fix them. So it takes a little bit sometimes. And yeah, these things are so tiny. I hope they give you plenty. I really do for all of it. I'm sure they do because I'm sure they know that you're going to drop them and they're going to land all over the house. Eh. I'm starting to throb though. I don't think I can do it with my left hand. So I might take a break, take a couple of Advil, and come back. So. There we go. I also got some spray coming. It's like a, you put it on top, so it keeps the beads from, um, keeps the beads from, oops, I, I didn't even realize you were way over there, I'm so sorry. Um, it keeps the beads in place after you finish it so they don't come off. And kind of, yeah. Notice the wax comes off of this and then it sometimes it ends up on here and the only way you can see is by a magnifying glass. So yeah, so that's kinda what it's starting to look like. There you go. Cute, huh? So I'm gonna take a break. I'm gonna take a couple of Advil and I'll do the other side. And we'll do all the pluses on the other side. Okay? We'll be back. So I'm done with the, uh, what was this, the plus sign? Yeah, I'm done with the plus sign. Ugh, I can't hold it in that arm. I'm sorry, guys. Try to, but it just doesn't work. Uh, there, maybe that'll work a little bit. So you guys can see. Now, whoops, I'm dropping it. it comes right out of my hand. Okay, um, so the next one is like an O. So I'm gonna look for it and put this stuff away and we'll be back. Guys, I'm back. Okay, so we're gonna do the O next. So I'm gonna open this up and pour some in here. I'm gonna bring you guys back down and I'm gonna pour them into a container, the rest of them. So they don't get everywhere, the best you can. 
it's not easy not easy to make sure that these don't go everywhere I see these really hard because they're new and I understand that but and you want them to stay closed so you have to really pull on them so when you do that and they're already in there you kind of hand jerks so a little bit of them come out so be very careful with these but yeah so I'll be right back a couple more left and then it's pretty well done I will show you one and two and I wanted to kind of make sure I filled it all in yeah and I'll bring you back up all right Oof. I need to see my face. <laughs> Not that close. Okay guys, so I have finished it. It really didn't take long. These are small. They don't take that long to do. Um, I didn't know if I finished it, but I finished my other one in one day. and It only took a couple hours. No biggie. And that's pretty, isn't it? And then I'm going to make this one for my mom. So we're going to move all this stuff and I'm gonna put these beads away and we'll do the keychain part. I'll be back. You guys, so we got it done. I put my glasses on so you can see it. There we go. It's all done. Now which do you take this little dude dad and gotta find the hole. There's a hole on here. Oh I see it in the middle. I gotta put it through the hole. I'm gonna bring it down so I can see what I'm kind of doing. I'll put it back on the box so maybe you guys can see a little bit better. Uh, let's tighten it. There we go. Let's see. Okay, so what you're gonna do, there's a hole in here. And you wanna put through this lovely hole. <laughs> yeah. Okay, got it. It's like doing the needle and the thread, so yeah. And then what you're gonna do, you take this little dude down. Hopefully you can see that. Can you see that? Okay. And you're gonna put through here. On one side, I can't get it with my hand. Okay, and then you're going to take these, cover it up so you guys can see a little bit better. There we go. And you're just going to hook it into the balls. Oops, sorry. Hook it up into the balls. So, depends how long you want it where you want it at and yeah okay they're a little hard sometimes I got mine really quite easy there so it snaps in just like so and then you can flip it around and there's your keychain isn't it cute you can put it on your keys, you can put it inside your purse, you can hang it from your mirror in your car, if you like, or somewhere else. Whatever you want to do, give it as a gift.
cute, huh? I think they're cute. Yeah. So I like them. I like them a lot. They're very cute. And this wasn't that hard. So if you got kids like teenagers, you know, teenage people that want something to do, it's raining or it's too hot out like it is right now, they need something to do, they might like doing something like this. Because really, it doesn't take all that time. You know, and young people have better eyes than I do, so it makes it easier for them too. So, very cool. I like it. So, anyways, that's it, guys. Uh, I'm going to give this one to my mom. And the next one I'm going to do, I'm going to work on her picture. Sorry, you can't see me. I'm going to work on her picture that I bought when I get my um, kind of, it's like a, I don't know what you call it. It's a board, and it's lit up. It lights up, so it's kind of an angle, so I won't have to have my neck down so far looking down all the time and I won't need that not magnifying glass because I think the light on this board will hold it so I can see it better. That's what I'm hoping. It wasn't cheap. I got it off of Timu and I'll do a review. Well, we'll do a review on it when I start that. That's what I'll do. Um, but I will talk about it as soon as it comes. Um, it's supposed to be here any day, so hopefully we get that soon. And yeah, I like these, these are cute. And the stuff that I got was like a um, sealer that you put on top of these. And we'll do that once it comes to. And um, it's supposed to keep the beads in from falling out. So I got that, so yeah, cute. So I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you like these kind of thing, you might want to go on Timu because they're really not that much. And they give you the whole kit. It's kind of nice to get a whole kit and not have to spend a lot of money on something to keep you occupied. You like doing pictures? I got all kinds of them. All kinds of them. So, uh, I don't really have room for pictures, but this one I'm going to put in her bedroom. So, um, above her bed. So, that'll be nice for her. So, she'll have that. But that'll probably be the only picture I do because I don't really have any room. <laughs> when you have a small house, you don't have many walls. So... Well, that's where something that really stuck out, you know, that I really, really liked a lot. And I'd have to take something down and move it or something. So, anyways, Monkey says she's out for now. I hope y'all have a great rest of the weekend. There's not much left of it. And stay tuned because Timu is on its way. So we will be doing reviews. And we will be looking at what I got. And it's going to be live. We're going to do a live one together. I don't know how we're going to do this, but we'll figure it out. And we'll put it on YouTube. We might do live on hers. So she asked me to go. So then I might take it and then put it on mine after it's over. So you guys, I don't know if you'll see it live or not. Um, we'll figure it out. I have to ask her how she wants to do it. Because I do everything editing on my laptop, so I don't have a full computer anymore. I just like my laptop. I used to use it for work a lot, so it was convenient for me then to have a big, big one. And Jay Bear's got the big one, so I don't really think I need another big computer. So, um, yeah, I like my laptop a lot. Anyways, that's it guys. Take care and I'll see you in the next one. Monkey says she's out. Bye.